at the 93 Spring Nationals in Lima, Ohio. Class six paddle tires. Tony Farrell in the Blue Ribbon Bandit. He takes on the Instant Tee with Chad Miller. This is one you tell your grandkids about. You may not see this in another 20 years of watching motorsports. Watch the far lane. The Blue Ribbon Bandit becomes a victim of tire theft. Actually drives right out of his rear tire and wheel assembly. Tony would slide to a stop and watch the paddle tires go upstream. But a most impressive run nonetheless. 2.596, just four one thousandths of a second off the national record. There go the tires. Could this be a classic example of blowing the tires off? Yeah, I guess you'd call it. I knew something was wrong when I seen both tires pass me. OK, what happened? I don't know. It looks like it broke all my studs off. That's the first time we really ran outdoors in big old paddles this car. It looked like it's doing its job. It's hooking up. I just got to do a little more beefing up on the rear end. Now, now, just a thought. Tony competed in the cut tires the night before, and in changing over the paddles, maybe the crew forgot to tighten the lug nuts? Tony straight right back out. Back on the starting line, it's Tony Farrell, the Blue Ribbon Bandit, taking on Steve Sparks in Wild Thing. It's been Farrell who's shown us some wild things in the past, the Spring Nationals, in his 23 Alter T. Oh, he's still lumping Hang on, the man. Bump. Hang on, on there. Once again, a very lazy rollover. Then it looked like he tagged the throttle. Man, this is awesome. This is weird the way it's happened. These guys can't figure this line of track out or even the shutdown area. Well, that's why the roll cage, you can see the driver is OK, hanging upside down securely fastened inside the cockpit and the roll cage keeps the weight of the, the vehicle off the driver. Now look again in the near lane. Yeah, the vehicle comes out of the pit. Okay, he's out of the pit right now. Now he starts to backpedal. It gets a little bit crossed up and here we go, the high side I talked about, but right now he hit the throttle. Watch this. He just wings it right yeah. there. But once again, Tony Farrell is okay. The emergency crew there as we take one more look now in that left lane coming right at you. He's in trouble right off the start. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, like you say, you only got two seconds to play this game. You don't have time to, to rethink it. You just got to go. It looked to me like he tried to pull it out like when you high side a monster truck, you stay on the throttle. That's what he did. Let's go down and check in, Army. Well, Gary, as you can see, the safety crews were jotting on the spot. They talked to the driver. He said, I'm okay. George Carpenter and the crew decided just to immediately go ahead and write the vehicle back up. Ironically, on the back of the car, it says this end up. It didn't follow his own directions here. Real quick, you going to be okay? Oh, yeah, we'll go back. We're going to get ready for tomorrow. What caused it to let go like that? I started getting a little sideways. I knew I was got road track. started to stab it and pull myself out of it, and it just didn't work. We'll let you go see the EMTs. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. As we had surmised with the four-wheel drive vehicle, he tried to pull it back out by nailing the throttle. As he said, simply did not work, but he is okay. A good crowd on hand. Remember, Tony was the one that drove out of his rear wheels here one year ago. But he's okay, and we'll come back with more action from Lima, Ohio. In the semifinal round, Wild Thing faced off against Dennis Anderson and the Grave Digger. Digger seemed to have the victory in hand when he hits the jump a little too hard and blows an engine that was borrowed from Monster Patrol. The lesson learned is don't lend your spare engine to the Grave Digger because the Digger runs that Chevrolet pretty hard. Wild Thing also had a bit of a problem in the semifinal round. In the debut race for his unique skull design, Tony Farrell blows his top on the jump. We were flying. Me and Dennis Anderson was racing, so of course we was all, all full board. Uh, I had some hellacious air. I come down, the body ended up falling down on the tire, flipping back over, land on this tire, broken about four pieces and hit the ground. Peeled off like an orange. Brand, brand new first, first weekend on it. So that was the end of the number one body. So what do you do when you've lost the body of your truck and have to face the equalizer in the finals? Well, you race with a half a body, of course. Wild Thang gets an IMJ A-plus for determination. Dave Morris gets the equalizer off to the good jump on the line, and he powers the 1996 Chevrolet to the victory in Louisville. Freestyle. Talk about freestyling. Freestyle, what I like to do best, I like to keep it on all four wheels to start with. Good but, theory. Uh, good theory. 
I like to see how high I can get. I like to get good shots for cameras because there's usually a lot of people taking pictures. So it's mainly air, yeah, big air. Yeah, I try, I try to get big air. I try to put on the best show I can in the arenas we're in for the, for the people that's here. Catching a little air, Tony. I'm Jerry, this is Tony. Oh, hi, this Jerry. thing is really weird looking. Who thought of that concept for the body? Well, we had an idea, and uh, believe it or not, a kid in high school actually drew all the body up. He drew me two or three designs, and I drive a school bus. So I took all designs on my bus and handed them out, and this is what the kids picked out. What's his name? Let's shout out to him. Oh, he don't want to be known, so I'm not going to let him know. You know, I, I, I wanted to promote him. I wanted to put his name on it, but he just, he don't want no word of it yet. It's cool. It's a rather unique shape. How do they fabricate the body? That's all one-off custom, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I own the mode now. I took all my artwork to Creative Glass. It took them a couple months, but they end up building me a mode out of foam, clay, and then they end up building me what they call a plug out of it. And that's what the original body come up with. It's good to have a unique concept. There's no other vehicles that look like this. Yeah. Like I tell everybody, if you ever see it, you'll remember. 